Leia, Lapu-Lapu City's newest superhero, episode 3, Leia ug ang bagyo sa dagat, Leia and the storm at sea. Leia streets her arms wide, taking the salty air of Marbits and Marigondon. Beside her, Blizz wag his tail excitedly, ready for another adventure. Today, they weren't there to fight crime, but to help clean the beach with a group of volunteers. Morning, mga kapitan, Leia greeted the friendly faces, using the Cebuano term of respect for the local leaders. Together, they collected plastic bottles, bags, and other trash, keeping their beautiful beach clean. Leah loved seeing the happy faces of the volunteers, young and old, working together for a good cause. Suddenly, the sky darkened. The gentle breeze picked up, whipping sand around their ankles. Dark clouds gathered like giants on the horizon. Oh no, an old fisherman named Lulu Andoy muttered, squinting at the approaching storm. Looks like we're in for a rough wand. Leah felt a familiar unease in her gut. Storms like this could be dangerous for small boats out at sea. As if reading her mind, Bliss whined and nods her hand. Just then, a frantic shout burst the growing wind. A lone fisherman, Manghuan, was struggling to control his small boat. Tossed violently by the waves, Leah, look! Bliss barked his ears perked up. Leah's heart pounded. Mang Wan was in trouble, but the storm was first. She, the waves, like angry giants, fair threatened to engulf her. But then she remembered the small paws of Moringa leaves stuck in her pocket. With a determined glint in her eyes, Leah grabbed a handful of leaves and popped them in her mouth. The familiar Earthy taste filled her, and a source of energy coursed through her veins. Fear gave way to resolve. Please, Tara, let's go, she cried, her voice ringing with newfound confidence. Please, sensing her urgency, bounded after her as they raced towards the shore. Meanwhile, on the beach, the other volunteers watched in horror as Leah and Bliss disappeared into the storm. Lulu and Doi shook his head worriedly. Leah's a brave girl, but that storm's no joke, he muttered. Unknown to them, lurking behind a large rock was another young man, his face twisted with envy. This was Junjun, a local who secretly resented Leah's growing fame as Lapulapo City's protector. He couldn't stand the attention she received, and wicked ideas sparked in his mind. He grabbed a piece of driftwood and snuck towards the water's edge. Just as Leah and Bliss reached the shore, ready to wade into the churning waves, Junjun emerged from behind the rock with a malicious grin, shoved the driftwood into Bliss's path, tripping him up. Bliss yelped in surprise, tumbling onto the sand. Leah gasped, momentarily distracted, but Bliss was a quick dog. He scrambled back up, shaking off the sand, his eyes fixed on the struggling boat. Leia knew they couldn't waste any time. With Blaze by her side, she plunged into the churning water, the waves crashing against them like angry fist. The wind howled in the air airs, stinging her face with salty spray. But Leia pressed on, fueled by the Moringa and her unwavering determination to save Mang Huan. Blaze, a powerful swimmer, kept peace beside her, his barks a beacon of courage in the storm. To be continued, can Leah and Liz avid Junjun and save the life of Manghuan? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to find out in episode 4.